actually, this is the first time that I speak, uh, have a speech to so many people, so I will try my best, okay? <laughs> okay, um, first of all, um, anyone knows about what is street workout, or as known as the calisthenics? Um, if you know that, please raise up your hand. Oh, pretty much people. <laughs> I was surprised that uh, there are some people know what it is. Um, street workout is a sport that becomes very new um, in the world, um, even in Hong Kong, just um, very familiar in these few years. Um, it's hard to explain with the text, so uh, let me show you a video that shows uh, what calisthenics or street workout it is. Um, this one, okay, of course not. <laughs> I've got so many texts here, so I said it's hard to explain that. So, let's see the videos. Um, this is a short video uh, from my Instagram. I post it overly in the social media. Um, as you can see, street workout is a pretty, required your strength and also hand balancing, so body coordination and your body control. Um, it, uh, don't, learn, don't learn everything in the videos because it's a bit um, like professionals. Um, this is all my friends and me. And then the videos is edited by me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I will define the street workout um, from four different uh, angles. The first one is the body weight, which means the sport, we just only use my body weight or our body weight to use that. Um, we don't do weight lifting, uh, unlike the no, a traditional gym, uh, such as uh, maybe bicep curl or we don't use any machines. So the other, uh, the other thing is uh, we are equipment free. Um, you can do it actually you know, on the stage here. Um, maybe we some, do some push up now, okay? Uh, no, not me, it's you guys, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I would say the sport is um, very easy to start with. Uh, why I should say, uh, why am I say that? Because let's do an example. Um, Maybe push-ups, everyone know push-up, right? Push-up. And then there are always uh, advanced version or other easier version to do that. For example, uh, if we think push-up is pretty easy, so maybe we do a Superman push-up, which means we push up and then explosive to high, maybe this, this height, and then act like a Superman. Um, if you think normal push-up uh, is really difficult for me and hard to do that, I can bend my knee to touch the ground and then make yourself being more light to do that push-up. So um, this sport also available for any ages. Uh, I start this sport uh, or when I am 18. So um, I'm not very old now, of course, okay. <laughs> um, uh, I see so many elderly, just like around 60, uh, 60 years old, they still can train every day in the park, uh, which mean, which mean uh, very, like a fitness conditional, uh, they train themselves for uh, daily life and um, for habit. So we define the street workout in the muscle training, uh, the same category from gym or some weightlifting, something like that. Also, uh, it, 
as I said, it requires, uh, requires so many of coordination and body control, body reaction for ourselves. And then it costs a little, um, even none. What does it mean uh, if you go to the park? Maybe you do some pull-ups, maybe some push-ups, or even just doing some sit-up uh, at home. Uh, it won't charge you anything but time. Okay? If you think time is money, and then, and then it's money, okay? <laughs> um, also, we are uh, a very special point that this sport, unlike the other sport is, we are very active on the social media. Uh, we created content every time when we are training. Um, also, meet so many friends through the social media because um, this sport, as I said, is a very fast, very fast going um, sport. So we can meet friends from different countries easily. This is some of my photos, okay? Some comments, uh, we combined our movement to uh, maybe I go travel, maybe I go to some streets, uh, we can take some snap. And then, yes, yeah, this is the signature move we call uh, human flag uh, in calisthenics. Uh, it's not only a picture, you know, this is a video, but I won't pay it now. Okay, we, are, we always post so many things on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you search calisthenics or street record on Google, it's easy to find so many sources, so many videos, tutorials uh, in the internet. So this is the place we uh, always live in that. Of course, this place is not in Hong Kong, okay? If Hong Kongs have such a this huge park, I will live in there every day. Okay, you can see uh, there is normal single bar, parallel bar, monkey bar, um, so many things um, that you would play when you are a uh, small children or a kid. Uh, kids, it's more easier to do that, such as movement, just like climbing the monkey bar. And then if you become an adult, you can't do it very easily so that this sport can bring you back to become a child. So let me introduce a little bit more of myself. Uh, my name is M2. Don't ask me why I'm M2, okay? This is my name. And then I'm a coach of this sport, also an athlete in this sport. Um, I, tr I try to um, promote the street workout in so many different ways. So I will be teaching people. I'm also training myself. And then I do a perform a street workout. This makes me also um, get in the Baptist University. Actually, I'm a student now on year, year two. Yeah, year two, studying in PE major in Baptist University. So guess who this kid is? <laughs> yeah, correct. This is me when I'm uh, 14 years old. So uh, the, the half faces is my father. And then you can see it's very skinny, you know, um, very, uh, just like I am... Uh, actually, this is the 14th uh, birthday of, 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 of that day. So you can see the faces is completely different. The body shape is completely different. So I started this sport um, on, as I said, is um, 18. From, year na uh, from now, I'm um, 23 now. I almost forgot my ages. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a road that I do this sport also changes uh, in different um, stage. Okay, I started playing this sport in 2014, and in 2015, I joined the first competition in Hong Kong, which uh, is um, called Street Workout Championship in the Hong Kong stage. And then you can see the coming four stages is in the same year. So uh, on May uh, 2016, I represent Hong Kong to try to uh, compete with the other, other uh, country athletes and then come back. Of course, the result is not pretty good uh, because the first time to go overseas competition. And then come back to Hong Kong, I get a well prepared for, um, finally I got the rank two, which means the uh, first winner up in the World Cup stage in Hong Kong. And in the same year, I represented Hong Kong to go to Dubai and then get in the final round for uh, rank five, as I remember. And then, and then back 
uh, from Dubai. I start coaching uh, street workout with uh, um, international certified uh, certification. Uh, normally, uh, at that moment, Hong Kong don't have the uh, certification here because uh, this sport is so new and so um, not no uh, not so many people and organization know about this sport. But so I need to get uh, from the certification from England, from England, and then back with starting uh, the coaching. So there's some photos of myself. It does not as uh, about few years ago. The, the the last one is from Dubai compared with the other athletes. As you can see, they're so so strong, and then uh, their ages is so much more than me, and then also they train more than me also. So um, my start, um, my new start is starting from 2016. I coach uh, people. Um, my first uh, classes is from YMCA, the Hong Kong, uh, the organization YMCA. Everyone know that, right? Okay, don't need to force now. Okay, um, uh, I'm glad that uh, they give me the opportunity to get the first student. Uh, to come to join my class, and then finally, until now, I'm still doing the coaching job, and then also doing performance. I'm still training. I will, uh, I will also go competition. Uh, tomorrow, I will fly to Australia to get um, international competition, so I will miss my students, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I built a team called United Bar, the Street Workout Performance Crew, uh, which uh, we gather with my friends, um, we do performance everywhere, uh, as you can see, the Spartan race. And then we also cooperate with uh, some government um, health or fitness events to promote street workout to the um, citizens. And then we also do photo shooting or some news or some um, TV program. We also promote street workout, teaching how people to learn street workout. So here comes some questions for me to ask myself. Uh, why I start kinesthetics? Because uh, three of my friends, um, actually they are in my team also now, um, they show me some videos of um, um, some basic movement, just like the muscle ups. Muscle ups mean uh, when you do a pull ups and then you get above the bar, that's called a muscle up. Uh, a muscle up. Um, but at that moment in Hong Kong, not very, uh, not many people can do that because it's uh, quite um, required your strength to do element, uh, do that element. So they showed me, but uh, I said, no, 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 this is too difficult. No, this is so so stupid. Why you need to get on the bar? You know, why if I want to be uh, muscular or why I want to be so strong? Uh, why I don't? Why I don't go to the gym? And uh, it's. Um, lifting weight every day, why I need to do that such a stupid thing. So I reject their invitation for doing street workout. But why finally I uh, come to become a coach and Netflix, something like that? Because I search on the Google. As I said, you can search the Google. It's easy to find street workout. And then I find a move called Swing 360. How to perform that is uh, as you, uh, you can see the video um, of people swinging that high and then turn a 360 angle and catch the bar again, something like a gymnastic element. Uh, so I start uh, discovering how to do that. So I decided to do, okay, as it looked cool, I can pretty different. Um, maybe some, so many students, uh, so many of my friends will think I'm, oh, so strong, so cool. So I start learning that thing. You know, uh, as you are a teenager, um, most of the teenagers love to be cool, right? So, and then the other question is why I start to be a coach. Um, 2016, as I said, is a very, very big change of myself. Uh, I think the street workout can change me a lot. Uh, even the outlook or some my career or my study. Um, when I was young, I'm not a very active kid uh, on sport. I just love to hanging around at home and then play games, play computer games, uh, video games, something. Uh, I'm not very active on sport because I think that there are so many kids are doing better than me uh, at that moment. 
as no offense, this one coming is no offense because I think the other common sport is not fitting for me. So many people do it better than me, and then I start from so old, old ages. Uh, it's not suitable for me to do a very high result on a sport. Maybe basketball, maybe football. They are all, all, uh, all, all is all a common sport. But this sport uh, changed me a lot because I think this sport, firstly, uh, there is no, not many people to do that. So I think I'm cool, I'm special because I never be a special kid. So I think, oh, I start this thing, I will be so special. I will be unique to different, uh, some difference from the others. So I think uh, this sport uh, changed me a lot. So I believe that this sport can change me a lot. I can promote it or tell everybody that street workout, street workout can change you too. Um, as I mentioned that I'm not uh, very active on sport. And then finally, um, after the HKDSE, uh, as same as the, my uh, start of calisthenics, my result is really bad on the HKDSE. Finally, I feel so confused. Well, I, I don't know what I need to do or what I need to supposed to be. And then I go to um, Lingnan University for a higher diploma, which is studying um, the fitness and sport, also some recreation management, something. I start, I, I think this sport, maybe I learned some knowledge can be fit into the sport. I can make my training more uh, like a, a systematic or the knowledge can help me for doing training. So finally, for a few years of uh, uh, studying and graduation, and then finally, that first university, uh, they think I'm, um, they think I can promote a sport or new sport to this um, community. So finally, they give me, um, gave me an interview, and then finally, I get in. So I think this sport, this has changed me a lot. So I, I believe that I can make, uh, use, this, use the calisthenics as a way to change people. What lead me to change? Um, everyone wants to be uh, special, you know. Um, as I mentioned that I'm not a talent people. I'm not uh, like a very special when I was born and then finally to here uh, to here now. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that talented and given. So um, I must find a way to make myself more different, you know? So what leads me to change is I don't satisfy with my presence. Just like um, maybe I like the citizen, uh, which means they are working every day, studying every day for graduation. After graduation, um, I go to, I have a work and then make a good salary and then I live my whole life will be like this. I don't satisfy with that um, from as a kid and then from now, I'm not satisfied with my life every day. So uh, this uh, reason that leads me to change. So the final one, uh, why am I here because this is a great opportunity to promote a sport, of course, and then also my thoughts of on, uh, on a sport or to the others. Um, successful people, uh, if they want to earn money, they won't think directly to the money, uh, which means um, I want to gain, uh, I want to earn so many money tomorrow. And then you will keep every day uh, thinking why my salary is so low, why my salary is not increasing, uh, why my job title is not changed uh, since uh, 2000 something, okay? It, uh, it slowly building uh, negative feelings for yourself because you keep, doubt, keep doubting yourself that why I'm so weak, why I'm, I'm not so good, why am I not improving anything? So my, one of my teachers tell me that um, success, successful people won't, um, think about themselves to earn money. They serve people. They think, um, they use their invention or they are discovered to help people to give changes. So um, 
always uh, thinking of money that people will find a way to short, shorten the way to get money. For example, maybe stealing or use some bad way. I don't know what is that, okay? I don't actually know what is that, okay? Uh, to easy to get money. So I think success uh, needs patience. Um, at the beginning, I start coaching with my personal um, finding clients. Um, I, cost, I charge them for $100 for a 90-minute training, so, which means very low prices, um, half an hour. Half an hour, 100 bucks, very low. But I think um, maybe someday I can earn more money, or maybe someday I can promote the sport, and then the sport name related to me, connected with me, and then and I have uh, great changes. So at the beginning, maybe someday I can learn the tricks, the 360. And the second stage, I think maybe someday I can represent Hong Kong to do some competition. Maybe someday, finally, I think I can influence people by using this sport. So that's why I'm here. So I want to tell you that Successful people will help the others to create something bigger than himself or myself. Um, more than, much more than myself. Um, I think it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.